Hey folks, good day. This is my second Blender tutorial, and this time it's going to be a how to make about how to make a realistic eye. So it's actually not going to be very realistic, but I'm going to show you how to do or the basic technique. Then you you're going to be able to add whatever you want. Okay, so let's begin. Delete our standard issue square cube. Add mesh uh, UV sphere. I'm going to use the uh, eight segments and eight rings. I'm going to rotate it here, 90 degrees so that the front view shows the iris and the pupil. Good. Go to edit mode. Um, now what we want is to acquire depth and uh, the way we would do that is to box select B, select the first uh, I guess ring of faces, grab with G, Y to constrain to the Y axis and push that in. Like, I don't know, like that. Okay, now the iris is this is this is going to be the, the iris. Now it's going in, so that's going to give us a, a lot of depth. Now the center of the pupil, I'm just going to move it a little bit to the back, so it's concave. All right, yeah, right there, that's good. I'm going to occlude the background geometry, which is right there. So that's that's our basic eye shape. Now we're going to add the materials, um, select all with A, go to the shaders, yeah, I just want to make sure that you can see, because I, I cannot see the, the window that's being recorded, um, add new, uh, go here, change the name, white, uh, make it completely white, you can move the shaders and all that kind of stuff if you want, go back here, assign, Sorry, let me see if you, yeah, assign, so that's going to assign the material to the selected faces, okay, now our whole eye is going to be white, okay, now that's good, A, now if you, if you click on select, all of the material 1 assigned faces are going to be selected, okay, now we're going to add a new material, we're going to rename it here, Right there, we're going to name it Iris. We're going to make the Iris first. So, um, we're going to make it blue. I mean, you can use whatever color you want. Green, red, you know, it's up to you. Right there. We're going to go to Face Select Mode. You cannot see where it is. It's right there. Okay, Face Select Mode. B once, twice. Two for the Brush Selection Tool. Okay, now you just click on the iris faces and there you have it go back here to the editing and move it there assign and now it's painted blue now we're going to do the same thing with the pupil material select the pupil go here oops sorry add a new material new back here rename it Pupil. All right. Uh, we'll make it completely black. Right there. Go back here. Assign. And that's it. Okay. Now I I know this is a sort of weird eye because the iris is way too big for the eyeball. I know that. I'm just trying to point it to the right uh, places. That's it. But uh. But yeah. You're right. You can make this smaller or you know. Whatever you want, whatever changes you want to make, just just go ahead and do them. Okay. Um, good. So that that's our basic eye shape. Now the th this is one way to acquire depth to pull the iris in in the pupil. And now we're gonna do something else. I'm gonna occlude the background geometry again. You know, with the button that's right there. You know, to the right. Um, I'm going to choose, I'm going to select all of these faces, the iris and the pupil. That's it. I'm going to go to the side view. I'm going to remove the occlude background geometry thing. Z, so I can see the whole thing. And I'm going to shift, shift D. That duplicates whatever I have selected. Escape. Uh, scale with S key. Y to constrain to the Y axis, minus 1 to reflect it on that axis, and I'm gonna 
grab with G, Y to constrain along the global Y axis and I'm gonna match it up right there. Okay, now this no, just pay attention because the following steps are important. I'm gonna assign a new material here, new, go here, cornea, we're gonna name it cornea. cornea. We're gonna make it completely white and transparent. Let me see if you can see this. Yeah. So we go to the alpha. This is the alpha channel. It says one. We're going to put 0.1 or something like that. 0.05. I don't know. Just move it around. We want to make it transparent. Enable the Z transparency. In my previous tutorial, I used the, the transparency of the ray transparency. Okay. Right now, we're going to use the Z transparency. And remove the traceable button. Okay, just switch it off, otherwise you, you're you going to get weird results and it's going to be all dark. Good. Um, so I guess that's it now. We're going to back, go back here, assign that and go back to the side view. Now this is important. If the vertices don't match, like there, you're not going to be able to do to have the, the nice smooth effect. So just grab it with G key, Y to constrain to the Y axis, and there. With shift, you can get a little bit more control. Oop. And I think I got it. Constrain to Y. Oh, come on. I think I got it. Now select everything with A, W for the specials, and remove doubles. And it, ha it has to say that it removed some number of vertices. If it says removed zero vertices, it's that the, 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 the two uh, sort of, uh, I don't know, this figure didn't match, okay? The one that we added, that we, we, that we reflected and, you know, all that. It has to match in here. Otherwise, it's not going to be able to remove the vertices. And you're going to get an undesirable effect. Back to the object mode. Z. This is our basic eye figure. Which is actually pretty good. So you can see that it's not completely round. It's got sort of a protuberance here. That's good. That's actually good because it's correct anatomy of the eye. So I'm going to add a subdivision modifier right here. Uh, subsurface right there I'm gonna render levels I'm gonna just so you can visualize it here go to render to levels 2 and render levels 3 and of course set smooth here set smooth so that looks pretty cool alright that's it and I'm gonna render this see what's oh. Sorry. Hold on, I'm, I'm just going to set up the cameras and the lighting. Hold on a second. Alright, I modified the placement of the camera and the lights. I'm going to render this. Oop. Render. So that you can see the result. I mean, now, this is... Um, I know it does not look like a very good eye. I, and, and I know. It, but I, I just wanted to, to... I just wanted to show you how to acquire the depth which we do have here, all right? It actually looks pretty good. I mean, you have to add the iris lines and all that kind of th uh, thing, maybe some veins here, but, uh, but this is the basic technique. I mean, just from here, you can just take it on and do uh, whatever you want to do, but this is the basic technique. Now, in fact, hold on a second, I'm gonna render it again, just once more, hold on. Now, this is another render. I moved the specularity of the cornea material so that it looks, uh, it gives us a very nice shine here. So uh, this is it. Uh, now this is the basic technique. Of course, you can do a lot of things. Uh, I suggest you to look at the John McKay tutorial about how to make eyes. That's pretty good. And the Barudi eye. That's not as good, but uh, it gives a nice effect too. But no, the, the John McKay eye is, pre is pretty good. So uh, I guess that's it. About, talking about eyes, um, this is a recommendation. Don't be in the computer more than an hour. Just give your ass a 15 minute rest every hour. So I'll see you later. Hope you enjoyed it.